who was the main actor in the movie Inception? The main actor in the movie Inception is Leonardo DiCaprio. In my initial ChatGPT video, I showed you how you can create your own voice assistant using ChatGPT. In my previous video, I showed you that ChatGPT now has an API. But there was one thing that was missing in my previous voice assistant video that was giving out the output in form of audio. So in this video, I'll combine everything that you asked for. So you can ask questions through your voice and get output in form of voice through ChatGPT. So without wasting any further time, let's kickstart the video. Let me kickstart the activity by showing you the installation section. So I'll quickly unhide the cell. I'll require Whisper's base model, which is where I'll install Whisper first. I require Gradio to kind of give you the whole chatbot-like interface. I require OpenAI and I require Google Text-to-Speech. So these are some of the imports that I'll make in the import section. But for imports to happen, I'll have to first install them. So I'll quickly install this. While the installation is happening, just a heads up that you will require a GPU based instance on Google Colab and not a CPU based instance. If you're using a CPU based instance, then the inference will take really long. So my advice is you need a GPU for this entire activity. If you're doing it locally, then you require a good GPU. If you're doing it on cloud, then you require a GPU again. So this is something that I wanted to specify. Now that the installation is done, I'll quickly go to the import section. All that I've installed is all that I require again, but I also require additional libraries like OS, JSON and the others, which is what I've specified in this particular cell. So I'll quickly run this cell as well. Now that the imports are done, I'll quickly go forward and I'll start defining variables that I require. There are some unwanted warnings that creep up, so I want to kind of hide them, which is what I'll achieve using warnings.filter warnings. So I'll quickly run the cell. In my previous ChatGPT based API video, I showed you that I have my API key within a JSON file. So that is something that I'll load. So I'll quickly load the JSON file, which is gpt underscore secret underscore key dot JSON into the variable data. From data, there is a key called as API key, which actually has the actual API key. So I save that into the variable openai.api key. So I'll quickly run this cell as well. Now, given that this is an introductory video, I load the base model of Whisper into a variable called as model. So I'll quickly run the cell. The base model is up and running. I'll quickly check what does it use. Does it use a CPU or a GPU? So I'll call the command model.device and here it says type equal to CUDA that means it's using a GPU so that is a plus point for us. In the entire activity when I have to give out an output I'll require a temporary mp3 file for Gradio to function correctly I'll have to first create a temporary file and then load the new files that are generated. So for this purpose I'm creating an entirely temporary mp3 file with the name temp mp3 temp.mp3 and this file is something that will keep changing with time. So I'll quickly run this cell as well. Just a heads up if you're doing this locally on your machine there are chances that you might not have this particular ffmpg module in your system so you'll have to install it separately and then run this command. Just so that everyone's clear I'll show you the files that are there in my directory as well. So I have the JSON file which includes my OpenAI key and I have a temp.mp3 file as well which I'll kind of utilize to keep changing the mp3 file while giving out the text to speech output. Now this is the chat GPT API function. I've covered this entire function in depth in my previous video where I've gone line by line. But essentially just to give you a small recap, I create a simple list variable which contains a dictionary. Dictionary contains two keys, role and content. So the first content that you have to supply is you are a helpful assistant and then it kind of takes other prompts as well. Now if there is a valid input text or if there is input text that is received, in this particular list which contains a dictionary, I append the content that I want the response from. 
then I call the openai.chatcompletion.create function. I specify the model that I want to use and I pass in the messages list. And finally, the response that comes in is saved in chat underscore completion variable. In the chat completion variable, I'll have to traverse through the list and dictionary to kind of extract the actual reply, which is what I do in this particular piece of code. If I've gone a bit fast, I'll add the link to the previous video as well. So you can kind of go step by step and understand the logic that is in place for the entire function. Uh, for now, what I'll do is I'll kind of import this particular function in memory. Now we move on to the transcribe function wherein what I'll do next is I'll kind of transcribe audio, pass the transcribed audio text to the chat GPT API function that I've created above. The response that I'll receive from chat GPT's API output is something that I'll pass to the Google text to speech module and I'll generate audio for it. So all of this is more of a system that is interconnected in between and all of this is achieved using this particular function. This piece of code is what I'll utilize when I convert text to speech. So that is something that I'll require later on. In the first two lines of code, I basically load an audio file using the function whisper.load underscore audio function and assign it to a variable called as audio. I then pad or trim the loaded audio file to fit a duration of 30 seconds using the function whisper.pad or trim. In this piece of code, what I do is I convert the padded or trimmed audio into a log mail spectrogram using the function whisper.log underscore mail underscore spectrogram and then assign the result to a variable called as mail. The log mail spectrogram is basically a common way to represent audio signals for speech related tasks such as speech recognition or language identification. In this piece of code itself, what I also do is I move the log mail spectrogram to the same device as the machine learning model using the dot to function. This step ensures that the data is in the correct format and on the correct device for the model to make predictions. So I want my predictions to happen on a GPU and not on a CPU. I use the machine learning model to detect the spoken language using the function detect underscore language. And this function takes the log mail spectrogram as input and returns a tuple of predictions and probabilities. The predictions are not used in the code snippet, but the probabilities are assigned to a variable called as probabilities. Finally, I go forward and decode the audio signal using the whisper.decode function, which kind of takes in the machine learning model, the log mail spectrogram and the decoding option as input. The decoded result is assigned a variable called as result. Extracting the decoded text from the result variable using the dot text attribute is something that I carry out next. And then I assign this entire piece to a variable called as result underscore text. So essentially all the audio that comes in through this particular function. At this point, we have reached the text, which is basically the question that I want to ask chat GPT. This particular text is what is passed to the actual chat GPT API. So which is where I'm calling the chat GPT API and I'm storing the result from chat GPT API into out underscore result. Once I've done that, now the result that comes out from chat GPT is again in form of text. I want that to be spoken out in form of audio. So that is where I kind of initialize a Google text to speech uh, instance and I call it audio object. Uh, text is equal to out result, which is the output of chat GPT. I specify language equal to English and I don't want this output to be slow. So I've set slow equal to false and whatever audio is generated, I kind of save it into a file called as temp.mp3. So if you remember, it created a temporary mp3 file. That is something that will keep replacing as the output keeps changing. Okay. I return the result text, which is basically what whisper is able to decode. I return the chat GPT output. And I also return the temp.mp3 file. So these are the three outputs that I return and I quickly run this cell to import everything into memory. Finally, I'll create an interface using Gradio. The first output would be whispers model output, which is speech to text. The second output would be chat GPT output, which is through the API this time around. The third output will be the actual mp3 file, which will kind of speak out the result. So these are the three outputs that I'll have. I'll define the interface. So I'll kind of give it a title. I'll call the function transcribe. I'll set the inputs and I'll set the outputs as well. 
and I'll say live equal to true and dot launch. So I'll quickly run the cell. So the interface is loading. So here you have the interface. Let me ask my first question. Who is the current Prime Minister of India? So if you look at this particular output, it says who is the current Prime Minister of India. So this is the output by the speech to text engine, which is our whispers module. The output is the current Prime Minister of India is Narendra Modi. And if I want the output in audio, uh, and since all of you have requested this, here is the output again integrated into the chatbot itself. The current Prime Minister of India is Narendra Modi. So this is the output that I'm getting. I can ask one more question. So I'll go forward and clear the entire screen. <laughs> Who was the main actor in the movie Inception? So I asked the question, who was the main actor in the movie Inception? This is the chat GPT output, which is perfectly correct. There is no error in this. The main actor in the movie Inception is Leonardo DiCaprio. Perfect. So the entire system is working all thanks to chat GPT. So this is something that I wanted to show you. A lot of you were commenting that can we have audio as the output and here is what I have, right? I am inputting audio and I am getting an audio output. Isn't this amazing? So this is something that I wanted to share with all of you today. I hope you found this video informative. If you do like the content that I create on my channel, it would be super motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos on data science and machine learning. Thank you so much for watching the video.